we are discussing yajna karma what is uh, what is yajna karma and how to convert all actions into worship the first thing in relation to karma and uh, yajna karma karma means action all types of actions and then yajna karma is a specific type of action a particular type of action is called yajna karma when we say a particular type of action as compared to all other activities all other actions for example uh, to go from the basics you look at life everything in life life itself means activity do you, you need not say everything in life is active life itself equals activity and this yajna karma is a particular type of activity that particular type of activity which is for the ideal of uh, liberation ideal for moksha so yajna karma is defined as a particular type of activity what is it that makes it unique and different from all other activities the uniqueness of yajna karma is the ideal for which actions are done makes the difference everybody is acting actions activities happens from birth to birth to death what is the ideal that is driving that action for what purpose your active what purpose drives your activities number 1 number 2 what attitude drives your activities so two things one is what is the purpose that drives your activities second is what is the attitude that drives your activities the purpose could be attaining acquiring something from the world that could be the purpose the attitude could be how do i get it when i say i want to become rich is the purpose of my activity the attitude is how do i become rich i can run over many i can run over many i can cheat many or i can i can not do all that and still become rich so what is yajna karma yajna karma is an activity that is clearly that clearly establishes your purpose and that which clearly establishes your attitude for what purpose are you acting what is the purpose that drives all your activities not just a few activities what is the purpose that drives all your activities what is the attitude that drives all your activities it means you need to have a common purpose and a common attitude activities can be many but the purpose has to be singular the attitude has to be singular what is that singular purpose what is that singular attitude yajna karma says liberation is that liberation moksha is that singular purpose for that purpose attitude what is the attitude the attitude of idam na mama idam na mama as in accommodating as many as possible when you have to accommodate many you need to let go of yours accommodation means sacrifice be accommodative if you tell a person be accommodative it's it is exactly telling the person be be sacrificial for accommodation is possible only when you are when you are sacrificial when you are willing to let go of something of yours then only you will be able to accommodate the other now i need to let go of my my hunger 
to accommodate the hunger of a few therefore what do i do what so whatsoever the little is there i i can share it means i am sacrificing so what is the attitude the attitude the purpose of yajna karma is moksha the attitude behind that action is accommodating accommodating many you need not particularize and say i i am accommodating a b c d e it's not about accommodating a particular it is not accommodating a few a general attitude in you to accommodate as much as you can if you are doing this you are performing yajna yajna karma karma yoga this is stage number 1 of karma yoga this is stage number 1 of yajna karma now what is stage number 2 level 2 when you are doing all these karma carefully follow when you are doing all this karma the reality of the doer is not discussed at all the doer is taken as real the result that he is going to get is taken as real so there is a reality to all this so in stage number 2 karma yoga stage number 2 yajna karma the reality of the doer is also discussed in stage number 1 the doer is taken to be real are you able to follow the um, carefully follow the distinction in stage number 1 the doer is accepted as real the doer is taken to be real that is chapter 3 karma yoga chapter 4 gnana karma what is knowledge coming into karma what is the knowledge that has come into this chapter 4 the knowledge that has come into the chapter 4 is the reality of the doer is also discussed what is the reality of the doer brahma arpanam brahma havihi brahma agno brahma nahutam brahma ivadena gandavyam brahma karma samadina the doer is brahman the ultimate who is the actual doer the reality of the doer is also established in the general in the ordinary action you as the doer is the reality of the doer is not discussed the do's and don'ts are given the rules and regulations are given how to do how not to do is given what should be done what should not be done all that is spoken about when all this is spoken what is implied here what is implied here what is understood here what is implied here what is understood here is in a way the reality of the doer is is accepted the moment we bring in gnana karma what do we start discussing you are not the doer brahman is the doer brahma arpanam brahma havihi brahma agnau brahma nahutam that's how yajna karma starts at one level you understand that you are the doer at another level you understand that you are not the doer so yajna karma comes in only at this point what is that point the point of yajna karma comes in only at this point the point of the point of discussing the point of saying the reality of the doer is also discussed when the reality of the doer is discussed what is the conclusion that you will come to the conclusion that you come to is the doer is brahma arpanam brahma havihi brahma agnau brahma nahudam brahma ivatena gandavyam brahma karma samadina everything is everything is brahman 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 only therefore what is it that you are trying in yajna karma at one level you are uh, you are interested in the purpose and attitude at another level you are interested in understanding about the reality of the doer if the reality of the doer is not discussed we are only discussing simple morals and ethics right and wrong good and bad 
which is not which is not karma yoga which is not yajna karma only when the reality of the doer is brought in now to bring to talk about the reality of the doer first thing that they establish is you are not the doer you means all along you have been thinking that all along you have been thinking that you are the doer yajna karma comes and says you are not the you are not the doer in karma yoga there is an acceptance that you are the doer you may take the help of the others there is the team that is supporting everything is happening but what is implied in all this an element of doership is an element of doership is established is kept alive in yajna karma that element of doership becomes a subject matter of discussion what is the element of doership i am the doer starts by saying you are not the in yajna karma the attitude that you have to bring in is i am not the i am not the doer i am not the doer i am not the doer this establishes verse number 24 brahma arpanam brahma havihi brahma agna brahmana hutam it means every aspect of it is every aspect of yajna karma is is brahman one thing is to say you are not the doer another thing is to say brahman is the doer here he takes that stance and says he doesn't say about you are not the doer he says brahman is the doer obviously if brahman is the doer what does it conclude if brahman is the doer what is the conclusion you are not the doer so yajna karma is a remembrance that in and through the activity you are not the you are not the doer you can't keep saying i am not the doer vedanta gives a very positive method the positive method is remember the self and act remember brahman and act how to remember that we are going to start with verse number 25 today we are going to start with verse number 25 today so i am just summarizing what is yajna karma till now what is yajna karma the attitude with which you perform the action what is the attitude with which you perform the action the action by which you remember the the action by which you try to remember that at one level the purpose is to get to moksha at another level the remembrance is brahman is the brahman is the adubha so we are discussing this concept of yajna karma at two levels alternatively we keep discussing these two levels why do we have to discuss these two levels is because we are fluctuating in our understanding since we are fluctuating in our understanding since we keep since we keep moving up and down in our ideals they accommodate all the movement of the mind and given us this purpose uh, and they have, they accommodate all the movement of the mind and give us this ideal action what is known as yajna what is known as yajna karma i said reality of the doer reality when you are doing something you do it in this way you should not be doing it in this way what is implied there in karma in ordinary karma the reality of the doer is is implied that's why i said it is implied are you able to follow you are hungry and you are eating isn't your hunger real somebody somebody passes a negative remark about you you are affected is that affectation not real at that point of time to come and say brahman is hungry brahman is affected you will start uh, you will start laughing at if all this is said you will start laughing at yourself or if somebody comes and gives you this advice you will feel like shooting that fellow who is giving this 
advice. Why? Because what is he saying when he is saying all this? When he is saying all this, he is negating your presence itself. Your existence itself is, is dismissed. So in Karma Yoga, that's why Jnanam comes and refines it. I have discussed this any number of times. Karma Yoga and Jnana Karma Yoga. What is the difference between uh, Karma Yoga and Jnana Karma Yoga? What is the chapter difference? There is a difference. Jnanam. What is Jnanam? What is knowledge into action? Knowledge into action. What is the knowledge into action that we are discussing here? Knowledge into action can be you go to engineering school, you get a skill of an action. You go to medical school, you get a skill of you, you get a knowledge of an action. What knowledge you get in Vedanta? What is the knowledge that you get here? Hmm? What is the knowledge that you come and get here? Which is so fundamentally different from all other knowledges. Because they are also giving you knowledge. We are also saying we give knowledge. What is the difference? The difference is here it is said you are not the here it is said that you are not the the doer ship. The doer is analyzed. In all other actions, the doer is not analyzed. The reality, when I say the doer is analyzed, what is it that is analyzed about the karta? What is it that is analyzed about the karta? The reality of the, the, reality of the karta is analyzed. In all other subjects, the real, in, in all other activities, the reality of the karta is not at all analyzed. It is taken for granted that he is it is taken for granted that he is real. These, these are all very, very subtle points that you need to think about. As I am discussing, don't try to clarify. Think about it. The reality, the, the, the reality of the doer. What is the reality of the doer? As you are doing an action, are you considering yourself? Do you have any doubt that you could be unreal? Do you have any do you have any doubt that it is unreal? Do you have any doubt that it could be temporary? Do you have any doubt that the result that you are getting is temporary? Do you have any of these doubts? If you have any of these doubts, you are already into, if you have any of these doubts, you are already into the path of knowledge. Here we are, here we are helping a person to get to the path of knowledge. How to help a person to get to the path of knowledge? When all other things the doer is not discussed, here who's discussed? The doer is discussed. When we say, when we discuss the doer, from what angle we discuss the doer? We discuss the doer from the angle of, from the standpoint of, is he, is he, we discuss the doer from the standpoint of the reality. Are you able to follow? We discuss about the doer, we discuss about the reality of the doer. We discuss about the pala, the result, and we discuss about the reality of the pala. Only when the reality of the doer and when the reality of the result is discussed, Jnanam has come into action. Otherwise, there is no knowledge in the sense of, in the sense that we are talking about knowledge. It's a, it's a very, very, it's a, it's a very, it's a very subtle difference that you need to understand. Are you able to follow? Doer means, who is the doer? What is doership? Go, start from this. What is doership? What is doership? Okay. What are the, okay, what is the doership now, Purila? 
okay what are the consequences of doership avula da the consequences of doership is agitation worry and anxiety worry and anxiety and frustration and irritation and crying and uh, all the associated things that goes with it why because your identity is still with the identity is still with what doership means your identity is still with the equipments that is why anything that is done to the equipments you get affected in yajna karma it has got nothing to do with equipments in yajna karma we start the yajna karma discussion by saying all that is involved in yajna karma is is brahma the reality of the doership udradandra da avlo easy kade udradandra da patti na pesave illa theoretical la purinjigirade avlo kashta reality of the doership la da i am surviving i am living abindrathu just to even conceive it theoretically itself is very difficult uh, uh, forget about uh, practicing and all that i am not i am not dismissing the practice i am saying that understanding itself is is difficult so in yajna karma when he says brahma arpanam brahma vihi brahma agnau brahma na hudam brahma ivatena gandavyam brahma karma samadhina what is he discussing there when he says brahman is the doer what is he what is it that is negated there you are not the doer he doesn't say you are not the doer he brings in such a positive attitude and say brahman is the he comes and says god is the doer of everything god does everything the moment you understand god does everything you have no reason to complain you will have no reason to cry you will have no reason to worry but you don't see it like that you think you are the doer are you able to follow you think you are the doer that is why there is this worry this anxiety this joy when results go in your favor when something doesn't go in your favor there is an affectation all these because of what there is no gnanam there is no knowledge vedanta comes and says you don't have knowledge at all why because you think you are the you think you are the you are the doer in yajna karma what is what is it that you are supposed to remember in yajna karma what is it that you are supposed to remember in yajna karma pure varta i said it just now what is it that you are supposed to remember in yajna karma god is the god is the doer are you able to follow the moment you say god is the doer what goes out what will go out what will go out you are worry and anxiety and your result orientation putting conditions to life all that suddenly becomes all this suddenly becomes so futile all this suddenly becomes so meaningless the purpose of the this is what is known as knowledge guiding the action very difficult is to uh, and i say very difficult means so simple this concept it eludes your understanding yeah so simple a concept will it because mind loves complications no mind is that which loves complication mind is that which loves mind cannot be simple that's why you you walk to a house you can't keep the four walls simple and straight forward no you need to hang so many things you need to stick so many things you need so many things why because mind is comfortable with mind is comfortable with complications around with too many things around the simplest ideas and and these and these concepts are not complicated at all it is simple what is the simplicity all along in karma yoga all along in ordinary action we talk about so much of skill we talk about 
we talk about morals and ethics you have to be you should not hurt others you should be very you should be very good all that is discussed but what is not discussed the reality of the doer is not discussed in yajna karma in and through your actions what are you supposed to remember who is the real who is the real doer am i the real doer or am i the real doer or the divine am i the doer or divine the doer please remember rendu vera seyndu irukka mudiyadhu if you are there divine is not there if divine is there you are not there both cannot both cannot coexist rope and snake cannot coexist if rope is there snake is not there if snake is there rope is not there you can't say half rope and you can't say rope and half snake are able to follow in jnana karma where we what we talk about jnanam in action is what yajna karma is supposed to teach you why i am spending so much of time in this concepts is because please understand yajna karma is not a particular type of action again it is the knowledge that you are going to bring into the routine activities that you are doing that is why when we study the 12 yajnas you will get very disappointed idhu ivlo built up kuduthirukave vana sir such a built up you gave and we and we were also so anxious and so excited getting into the 12 yajnas thinking that something we are going to do new from today onwards ala onnum kedai when you are seeing when you are hearing how to remember the divine when you are doing your regular routine activities how to remember the divine that's what he is going to say he is not going to say anything new that you are he is not going to add up anything to your list whatsoever you are doing he is bringing in the knowledge hmm what is important to remember what is important to remember is this what is important to remember the purpose the attitude at one level at another level it is no more the purpose it is no more the attitude the 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 study the discussion revolves around the the study and discussion revolves around the doer how do we say that see when we talk about the purpose the doing and all that we are talk uh, uh, when we talk about the purpose when we talk about the attitude what are we discussing we are discussing about the doing we are not discussing about the doer jnana karma na from the doing the knowledge has to shift to the doer doing is already discussed in verse number 30 chapter 3 we are in chapter 4 the doing part of it is already discussed in verse number 30 chapter 3 yeah problem enna na namba class la undu ukkarum bodhi we sit so fresh that we forget the yeah objectivity is so high in this classroom that we forget what we studied Uh, that we studied what we uh, what we studied in the previous uh, session the doing part of it is already discussed the doing part of it is already discussed in verse number 30 chapter 3 as in karma yoga now we are now we are not sitting and discussing the doing again now what are we discussing it is subtle it is deeper what is subtle here what is deep here we have started to discuss about the we have started to discuss about the doer what the doer is supposed to do the doer is supposed to remember that i am not the doer divine is the the divine is the doer i am not the doer the divine is the doer that is verse number 24 the yajna ritual takes everything and we discuss now i am not going into the ritual and all that again because we have already discussed about the we have we have already discussed about the about the ritual now with this background of going to discuss about the doer we move into we move into the 
yes verse number 25 is it okay till now ha huh? verse number 25 daivam daivameva pare yagyam yogina paryupasate brahma gnav pare yagyam yagye naivopa juhvati daivameva pare yagyam yogina paryupasate ब्रह्मव परे यज्ञोपजुति उपासते उपासते वर्षिप उपासते वर्षिप दट इज वाई वेन ए डिस्क यज्ञ कर्म ई सेड यज्ञ कर्म इज नॉट जस्ट द एक्शन द वर्षिपुल एक्टिट्यूड दट गोस अलॉंग विथ it's not just the action the worshipful attitude that goes with the action the machine is also the doer the robot is also the doer the human being also the doer the the uh, the robot also does action the human being also does an action what is the difference between the robot doing and the human being doing the robot knows how to do the doing part of it is complete and perfect in that machine calculator 4 into 4 16 it will never make a it will never make a mistake of uh, um, 4 into 4 is 24 and it will never come if it comes now you have you have entered wrongly nath so the doing part of it is so perfect so perfect in the machine but we don't call we don't uh, we don't say the machine is the ideal why because the worshipful attitude the machine cannot cannot bring the human being brings in the worshipful attitude only the human being can bring in the worshipful attitude what is the worshipful attitude that a human being can bring in the worshipful attitude that a human being can bring in is the remembrance as you are doing an action what are you remembering what is it that you are focused upon what is it that you are reminded upon only a human being can do that now what is this verse number 25 verse number 25 talks about two types of yajna verse number 25 la rendu yajna varudhu the two yajnas what are the two yajnas some yogis perform sacrifice to gods others perform sacrifice by offering sacrifice itself in the fire of brahman so two yajnas he starts with two yajnas some yogis perform sacrifice to gods yogis perform sacrifice to gods here gods in plural daivam the sanskrit word daivam means to gods in plural daivam eva pare yajnam yoginah paryu upasate some yogis perform sacrifice to to gods others anye others apare apare he i'll also use the word anye here you, here he uses the word apare apare they perform sacrifice they perform yagyam they perform yagyam how they do they perform sacrifice by offering sacrifice itself one they are yogis performing sacrifice to gods second perform sacrifice by offering sacrifice itself brahma gnav pare yagyam yagye naivopa juhvati now what are these two yagyas means
yajna denotes the conversion of all activities into worship now your actions can have two goals your actions can have two goals limited and absolute limited and absolute limited ideal is what i will only give references sir you should remember this if you don't remember when you sit for your manana go back and refer those verses for limited yajna the reference he has already spoken about them in verse number 10 and uh, 11 of chapter 3 parasparam bhavayantah he said you worship the you uh, you satisfy the gods the god satisfy you parasparam bhavayantah all that is what the limited goal is and then he and then he stopped there and then he stopped there from the limited goal he pitches up to the absolute goal here from the limited goals there he having stopped the discussion with the limited goal there and branched off into the doing part now concluding that he takes the discussion further from where he takes the discussion further verse number 9 when he introduces yajna he said this yajna karma alone doesn't bind you when all other actions bind you this alone doesn't bind you the arjuna enna ketrundirukano please teach me the technique nu ketrundirukano straight away if he had asked for the technique straight away na chapter 4 would have come there and chapter 3 would have come later but since arjuna was in sharp enough to ask he knew that any analysis about the doer arjuna cannot follow so he went into the doing part so he started uh, discussing about the doing how to do first he said about the importance of action and then he gave the emotional appeal for action and then he gave the technique of right action all this is in relation to the doing are able to follow now he picks it up and says yogi is perform actions like that arjuna apare others how do they perform brahma gnav apare yagyam yagye naivopa yagye naivopa jhukvati others perform sacrifice itself into sacrifice in the fire of brahman since they perform this these people are working for absolute ideal since the others are yogis sat worshiping gods they are working for limited they are working for limited goals are you able to follow how he is discussing two yajnas here one type is working for a limited ideal and the vast majority of human beings belongs to the yogi type only working for the working for the limited category limited ideal a few who's that few that few is that extraordinary that few is very extraordinary what is that few perform sacrifice by offering sacrifice itself so they are offering offering uh, they perform sacrifice by offering sacrifice itself i am going to explain that first you need to understand how we how he is saying this verse talks about two two ideals absolute and relative limited what is the logic to say that the first yogis to devas is limited how do you say that it is limited limited means two factors limited means that which is created and that which can get destroyed is limited what is the definition of limitation limitation means that which is created and that which can get that which is created gets destroyed 
so whatsoever you do as uh, whatsoever you do as the limited ideal it is created and it gets and it gets destroyed but these people don't have this knowledge that it is limited they don't understand that it is limited they don't understand that it is limited but still why he calls them as uh, yogis because yogi is one who is performing sadhana sadhana means pursuing the ideal with a discipline that's what sadhana means sadhana means pursuing an ideal pursuing a goal with a discipline the same discipline you can use for moksha the same discipline you can use for worldly worldly ideals the first type yoginah what they do sac direct their efforts to gods while others direct their efforts to brahman gods na limited brahman na absolute why do we say gods are limited why do we say god is limited because it goes through this it goes through this creation achievement destruction you work you achieve something and then you lose what you have achieved are you able to follow you work you attain and you lose what you have what you have attained you work you attain something and then and then you lose what you have attained but yogis don't understand this and they worship the gods who is the absolute ideal here they understood that they understood what i am no more going to follow this what is what is this effort attainment of attainment and and losing that is why he says even don't don't aspire for swarga also they say the vedas this limited ideal this absolute ideal is what is the vedanta all about okay go from the basics it becomes easy to follow clear yeah. veda anta veda means knowledge anta means the end clear yeah. antam nu onnu irundha beginning nu onnu irukano purvam nu onnu irukum what is the what is the veda purva veda purva is limited ideal veda anta is absolute ideal abdi purinjukonga vaadu again i repeat again i repeat veda veda anta veda anta da we keep saying veda anta veda anta veda anta so anta means the end na sometimes you should have thought within yourself no yeah you should have you should have thought within yourself end means what is the beginning not the first verse conceptually there is a difference fundamentally there is a difference what is the difference the first portion of the knowledge which is what we call as karma kanda portion talks about limited ideals all the upasana margas talks about the limited ideals here we talk about here here we talk about absolute ideal so a human being as you are you have two two choices now when you start your activity you have two choices what are the two choices you have you can work for a limited ideal or you can work for the absolute ideal 
where these great masters come and say is where the shastras are so meaningful is the effort is the same effort being the same why are you compromising for why are you compromising for something limited why are you compromising for something lower why not use the same effort and go to the and go to the absolute those who have understood this practices the second type of yajna what is the second type of yajna the absolute idea so now the starting point of yajna karma establishes the two sets that you can follow what are the two that you can follow one is an absolute ideal another is a relative ideal relative ideal he has already discussed in detail verse number 9 10 11 of chapter the the moment he introduced the concept of yajna he branched off into the limited ideals only parasparam bhavayanta and all that he said a few takes that in fact when i say few means the vast majority of human beings are satisfied satisfied following the limited ideal what is the satisfaction of following a limited ideal what is the satisfaction of following a limited ideal do work has to be kept alive avladha the do were destroy panida vingo do not destroy the do were do were abde irukatum as a relative ideal do were abde irukatum and the do were vandu world ah chase pannama pooja la na nariya pandren chanting la i am nariya pandren i am a good do were and the good do were abde uttrungo are able to follow don't uh, don't come and say uh, uh, don't come and say anything about this ida pati pesi don't don't confuse let the doer remain others want to get rid of the others want to get rid of the doer itself so how do they what ideals they worship with sir i re- i am really satisfied with doing whatever uh, what i am doing abdinna who has established there who has established there doer is established after doing this class if i tell myself appa niki today i did a very satisfying class now what is established the doer is established it is limited so what is a limited ideal limited ideal is such that where we say betterment is all right refinement is all right but the doership has to be kept alive from the bad doer i will be a good doer i on the cinema disco la po matan sir ella vedanta class la vandu ukandukuren but good doer allow allow me to be a good doer that is one set working for a limited ideal and the vast majority belongs to the that ideal and they think that they are practicing vedanta knowledge comes and says no 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 you are not practicing vedanta because in and through all that what are you remembering in and through all that what are you remembering the doership la da remembrance irukud innu god kitta pona kuda i am da ang first nikirudhu i da first nikirudhu ang that is why i say uh, even when a person prostrates the body is prostrating but the ego is standing erect only saashtang namaskar banna the body is only flat on the ground the ego is still standing very Mm, very erect so in yajna two two types of yajnas what are the two types of yajnas one is a limited ideal another is an absolute absolute ideal
at the very root itself the choice is given to you at the very fundamental itself the choice is given to you like yama told nachiketas there are two paths nachiketas there are two paths the path of the good and the path of the pleasant he says the path of the dharma and the path of the moksha the path of the dharma and the path of the moksha what is the difference between the two the path of the dharma na limited idea the path of the moksha na it is absolute what is the path of the dharma path of dharma is limited by limitation what do we mean not having it make an effort to make an effort to to get that which you do not have and that which you want eventually only to eventually only to lose it so i don't want my efforts to go waste sir people come and say i don't want my efforts to go waste moksha ku work pannada varaikum your efforts will go waste only don't ask uh, i i want to be how to how to ensure that nothing goes waste how to ensure that my efforts don't go waste don't worry limited ideals efforts will go efforts will go waste only what is the waste illa sir enakku waste aana poi i may not have it but i have given it to my children no they will waste it no 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 they will not waste it they will give it to their children and they will waste it so nevertheless one thing that is one thing that you cannot escape from in limited ideals is what one thing that you cannot avoid in limited ideals is your efforts going vyartha vyarthama poirthu sir pannadella Forty days, uh, I don't know huh? how many days of uh, uh, how many days of quarantine and following the discipline to the core. Hmm? Now, let's learn the Ungal Kala relief. For that, God, I am not relief. Can I do? May I wrote it to Varikam because my building is locked till twenty eighth. We have to go to well or more yet. <laughs> we have to wait balcony lenu paathune irukonu yaravadu vandu edavadu kudukraangala and if somebody comes and gives we take if somebody doesn't come and give narayana nan ukandirukken all the 40 days of quarantine has gone has gone vyartha it is this is the nature of any worldly anything limited efforts will go efforts will go the earth you cannot avoid that this is the law gnanam teaches you that action doesn't teach you that action will make you to believe the result will make you to believe that it is permanent the result the, the doing will make you to believe that it is going to be, it is your hard work the phala the result makes you to believe that it is going to be with you forever knowledge comes and teaches you that it is knowledge comes and teaches you that it is temporary so in the beginning itself you 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 can make a choice what is the choice that you can make all the activities of mine am i going to is it okay for me to waste it or do i want it to be opposite of waste another opposite of wasting it is useful useful optimum capacity vano illaya or or action kuda waste avakudadu sir how to do that your ideal determines that limited or limited or absolute effort is the same for both 
discipline is the same for both sadhana is the same for both the purpose differentiates effort is the same it's not that uh, this fellow for the person who's working with limited ideal effort is less and the person working with absolute ideal the 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 effort is more this is not like that effort is the effort is the same for both but what one goes to the absolute others lose it again and again yogina paryupasate daivam eva pare yagya another one performs yagya another one brahma gnava pare yagya what do they do they offer sacrifice itself the capacity to perform yagya itself is the capacity to perform sacrifice itself is sacrificed as the second yagya he is not saying perform sacrifice the capacity to perform sacrifice itself is sacrificed sir asdana sir that is our present condition no sir capacity to perform sacrifice is sacrifice pannittu dana na ukkaathirukrom so why are so why do we have to go here are able to follow the capacity to perform sacrifice itself is sacrificed that can be sacrificed only when you work for the absolute poetic poetically he said when you when you work for an absolute when you work for an absolute ideal the two yagyas life equals activity formula mari pottukonga life equals activity activity equals two ideals and ask yourself limited or absolute if you are limited you are called a yogi performing sacrifices for devas here yogi is means not karma yogis here the word yogi means those who are pursuing worldly ideals with discipline who are they adigada some time back i gave this description all human beings can be divided into two categories the seekers and the non seekers all human beings can be divided into two category the the seekers and the non seekers and the non seekers again can be divided into two categories what are the two categories of non seekers one who pursue desires indiscriminately another pursues desire within the boundary of dharma what you can call it as non seeker type 2 yogi equals non seeker type 2 that is why he is performing actions with limited ideals he is performing actions with uh, disciplines but still he is not a but still he is not yet matured in understanding why he is not yet matured in understanding because he is pursuing that which is terrestrial terrestrial he is pursuing because terrestrial has an end in itself terrestrial as an terrestrial as an end in itself what is terrestrial means to pursue the terrestrial you need a few to pursue the terrestrial you need a few what are the few you need to pursue the terrestrial lakshmi first lakshmi is needed to do anything clear yeah. lakshmi na wealth second is the knowledge the saraswati first is the lakshmi and then the saraswati rendathiyum pursue pannum bodhu nareya vigna varum obstacles varum adukku ganesha 
that's why you find all the three sitting together no lakshmi saraswati ganesha all of them lakshmi na wealth you need saraswati na knowledge you need and when you are pursuing both what would you get a lot of lot of vigna lot of obstacles yeah first they said uh, exams will happen in may and then they said exams will happen in mid july now they say exams have shifted to mid august and then they will say exam shifted to end of the vigna how long to keep preparing for the exam na thirupi thirupi open panni preparation prepare how long to keep doing that vigna lot of vigna comes now knowledge helps you to deal with all this knowledge helps you to deal with all this but then you will be so satisfied with that itself are you able to follow a satisfaction with this itself is the first category limited ideals and what is an absolute ideal the absolute ideal is when you are working for the purpose of actions dedicated to a higher ideal through action you can aspire for prosperity and peace through action you can aspire for moksha are you able to follow through action you can aspire for prosperity and peace through action you can aspire for moksha now yajna karma is a formula to get both yajna karma is a common formula for both you want peace and prosperity yajna yajna karma formula you want moksha yajna karma formula are you able to follow it means what the same formula you can use it for something so valuable you have you can use it for something limited and you can use it for something absolute again i repeat yajna karma karma actions can be driven by these two what are the two what are the two peace and prosperity through actions you want peace and prosperity first thing is prosperity prosperity dukkha nivritti peace is sukha prapti so dukkha nivritti and sukha prapti is what is known as uh, dukkha nivritti and sukha prapti is what is known as peace and prosperity now how to get this peace and prosperity the formula is yajna karma okay i want to attain moksha what is the formula for moksha i want moksha i don't want i don't want to get anything limited i want moksha what is the formula yajna karma it means a very wonderful tool is given to you if you don't have the right knowledge and understanding such a wonderful tool given to you you will you will you will waste it you will waste it and you find human beings wasting this wonderful tool and you find human beings wasting this so the one who does it for a limited things he calls them as yogis worshipping devas through sacrificial efforts next week i am going to explain how yajna karma works for limited ideal also next week i will i'll explain that in detail yajna karma worships yajna karma is a formula for peace and prosperity also how because even then you need to follow a discipline even then you need to sacrifice your likes and even then you need to sacrifice your likes and all that all this disciplines you have to do which is what the principle of yajna karma is all about but what is it that you get ultimately something very limited something very limited limited means that which is bound by time that which is bound by time means 
has a create has the come into existence and gets destroyed come into existence and get and get destroyed so what gets destroyed anything in the world or all that you get in the world gets gets destroyed when we say gets destroyed it means what you acquire so much of knowledge and 80 85% of the knowledge that you acquired is 80 85% of the knowledge you you acquire is forgotten yeah you retire and don't do anything for 2 years even the basics will be even the basics will be forgotten but sir i am a gold medalist uh, i acquired this how can it go it will go it will go wealth sir how it will go illaya it will go inflation enna mo solranga illaya something something called as something called as inflation something called as this something called as that so even the wealth that you have acquired goes on goes on diminishing in in value seriya hmm EMI matum diminish avadu the value goes on diminishing but the EMI that you have taken that will not diminish have you ever have you ever thought about that why will you edavadhu or meaning irukudho adilla are able to follow suddenly the value of the property can go to zero abdinna EMI will become zero va loan will be loan will become zero va the bank fellow will say what will the bank fellow say ha huh? yaradu banker irukala inge financial experts are here i know ha huh? venkat <laughs> pay with interest ah pay ah paathiya pay with interest adu kuda adha da limited idea onnathukku value illadathukku you have to keep paying with with interest resulting in worry and anxiety and agitation avladha that is worldly that is limited idea here he says work for here he says work for the absolute two choices you have he is not saying choose carefully follow he is not saying between the two what you have to choose he says some work for that some work for this some work for limited idea arjuna some work for absolute ideal arjuna avladha he says he doesn't say between the two uh, let go of the lower and pursue the higher la he is not saying adalla juma nanga karalari konar notes la add pandrom adalla he is only saying two things what some work for a limited ideal some work for the some work for the absolute ideal when they are working for the limited ideal what do they do they worship the devas when they are when they are working for the absolute ideal what do they do they let go of the capacity to perform yagna itself is offered in yagna abinna en artham or agni kundu la innor agni kundu thooki podrada for what is yagna itself is offered in in yagna we'll discuss that in in detail before we that a uh, maha subramanyam has a clarification in gyana karma do i objectify my body mind intellect complex in and through action and shift the subject to brahman what subramanyam asking is in gyana karma who is the subject and who is the object he is not asking who is the subject and who is the object he is saying in jnana karma this is the subject and this is the object is this correct yes in jnana karma the subject is brahman the object is the body the mind intellect becomes the object in ordinary karma you are the subject body mind intellect is the subject attaining something from the world is the object in jnana karma 
the body mind intellect itself becomes the object and uh, and uh, brahman becomes the subject as it were correct subramanya seriya yeah. because here uh, here the attention is shifted to the brahman body is functioning i am not the body mind is agitated i have nothing to do with it intellect says it knows something it doesn't know something else for intellect cannot intellect cannot be all knowing intellect always will have this duality of knowing something and not knowing something mind will always goes through this duality of mind always goes through this duality of sukha and dukkha body always goes through this duality of health and disease again i repeat body goes through this duality of health and disease mind goes through this duality of sukha and dukkha intellect also goes through this duality of knowing something and not and not knowing something else in jnana karma you say as long as body is there it will go through this period of health and disease i have nothing to do with it mind will experience sukha and dukkha i have nothing to do with it now intellect will know something it will not it will not know something else whatsoever the knowledge and ignorance of my intellect is i don't associate with it if i associate with the body i say i am healthy i am unhealthy jnana karma says the body is healthy the body is unhealthy it doesn't say a, per, a, a, a person who is performing jnana karma will not say i am healthy or i am unhealthy he says body is healthy body is unhealthy doctor kitta poi apdi solladingo it's an attitude Yeah. whose body ah uh, uh, whose body the body that is made up of the elements the body that belongs to the elements whose body na immediately don't say my body the body that is made up of the body that is made up of the elements and the body that belongs to the yes. elements if you are functioning like this you are performing jnana jnana karma karma la inda jnanam varanum adha dhaan we are trying karma pannum bodhu inda jnanam varanum nra dhaan our uh, our attempt is one same thing in relation to sukha and dukkha also mind is agitated mind is happy whose mind whose mind that is of the jiva not mine that is of the that is of the jiva not mine knowledge and ignorance i know something i am so glad that i know something i am so depressed that i do not know something else are you able to follow i have the things i say i know and then i i don't know who is that saying i know and i don't know the jeeva says that and who am i i am the you make an effort to identify with brahman it's not that you have become brahman na remember this you are making an effort to identify with brahman it may look mechanical it may look superficial and all that don't worry about all that the effort is made that's all the effort is made and when the effort is made very soon very soon it fructifies correct very soon it fructifies so there is a so 
do i objectify my body mind intellect in and through the action and shift to the subject to brahman yes the subject is brahman body mind intellect becomes the object is it okay subramanian thank you yeah now shri vidya has a clarification why worry about moksha correct why worry about moksha எதுக்கு சார் இது தேவையில்லாம போட்டு எங்களை இல்லையா யாரோ சொன்னாங்களேன்னு லிங்க் கொடுத்தாங்களேன்னு ஜூம் கிளாஸ்ல வந்து உட்கார்ந்தா ஒய் ஆர் யூ டார்ச்சரிங் ஒய் வரி அபவுட் மோக்ஷ எனிவே வி டோன்ட் ரிமெம்பர் எனி திங் அபவுட் ப்ரீவியஸ் பர்த் சரி ஒய் நாட் ஜஸ்ட் லிவ் லைஃப் அண்ட் கீப் டூயிங் வாட் நீட்ஸ் டு பி டன் அண்ட் நாட் வரி அபவுட் ஆல் திஸ் வேதாந்த மை சன் யூஸ் டு ஆஸ்க் மை திஸ் Sri Vidya is a doubt less. Sri Vidya is very clear. A son is the problem. The son is the one who is the one. Don't worry about that son. You leave the son to me. Son, my, my son used to ask me. My son used to ask me this. Number one. Anyway, we don't remember anything about previous birth. Don't worry about previous birth. Allah. Last week what happened itself, you don't remember. Five years back what happened itself, you don't remember. just because you don't remember something doesn't mean you don't you don't stop doing the right thing no for example when you are a child you had so much of value for a for a pencil hmm? they do that no friends will do that no hey avanu adu romba pudikanda eduthu olchi vechiru they say no why because the, it is it is taken and it is hidden and this fellow is crying and looking everywhere pleading with everybody and everybody says what a pain what a sorrow what all now all that is forgotten now no it's the forgetfulness is the blessing of life why not live life as in just the present and keep doing what needs to be done what needs to be done who teaches you that correct you need to do what needs to be done the question here is who teaches you what needs to be done do you teach it to yourself do you allow your likes and dislikes to teach you this or do you allow some wise man to to guide you correct you need to do keep doing what needs to be done correct it is perfectly correct the question is the question is does a human being know this by himself or he has to be taught are you able to follow shri vidya yes sir a human being needs to be uh, a human being has to keep doing what needs to be done is it is this doing keep doing what ought to be done is it natural or is he should be taught into this other species need not be taught a human being has to be has to be taught and what is that subject that teaches you the subject that teaches you this is known as vedanta stage number 1 a person who has gone through all this and understood the futility of all this he is the one who will aspire for moksha for example a person who is frustrated in slum will be the fellow who wants to get out of it no supposing if he is happy being in dirt if he is happy being there he will never make an effort to get out so who will make an effort for moksha the person uh, the the person who who is suffocated by these worldly pursuits and the limitations of all that is the one who will want the moksha are you able to follow so except this uh, this few people that we are discussing we don't talk about moksha a lot so if at all you have to answer your son this is how you need to explain to him how how you should explain to him 
Correct. Why not just live life? Can a human being just live life by himself? Does he know it naturally? Can he know it naturally? No. A human being has to be. A human being has to be taught. Who teaches? First thing is to understand is the human being needs to be taught. The moment we understand that the human being needs to be taught, then who teaches? The Shastra teaches. Vedanta teaches. Therefore, we necessarily have to worry about this. We necessarily have to worry about this Vedanta because why not live life? Why not just live life? Vedanta says, just live life. But know it and live. The way that you are living life now is not just living life. The way that you are living life now is, is a recipe for disaster. Second thing is, what needs to be done? Keep doing what needs to be done. This also a human being will not know naturally. Therefore, he has to be, he has to be taught. To put it very simply, indulgence is natural. Discipline is, discipline is taught, no? For other species, there is no need to teach them discipline at all because they don't have a choice to indulge itself. Again, I repeat, a human being needs what is natural to a human being to indulge is natural to a human being. What needs to be taught? Wash your hands has to be taught, no? Yeah. Amita Bhajan has to come and teach, wash your, wash your hands. Dhoni has to come and teach, wash your hands. Why? Because by himself, even though this is what to be done, a human being needs to be taught. And who teaches it? Vedanta is that which teaches. Therefore, this knowledge becomes, this, this knowledge becomes necessary. This knowledge becomes a necessity. Are you able to follow Sri Vidya? Yes, sir. Because of this reason, a human being needs to be taught. And who teaches? This knowledge, the, the, since it is this knowledge that teaches, this knowledge becomes very, very necessary. Therefore, why worry about moksha? Anyway, we don't remember anything about the previous birth. Moksha has got nothing to do with previous birth. Moksha is to do with the current birth and dealing with the worries and anxieties of the present. Moksha is not to, Moksha has got nothing to do with the previous birth. Moksha has to do with the current. Ah. Now I know who your son is. Ah. Who your son is, I know now. I will talk to him later. Camp will come to the Tripi de Galigatra. I will talk to him. <laughs> therefore, the therefore, why worry about this knowledge? We need to worry about this knowledge because human being needs to be taught. Why worry about going to school? Why worry about going to net practice? Just you need to, you need to play cricket, no, take the ball, uh, uh, somebody can just bowl, somebody can just bat. Why, why, uh, why it has to be taught? A human being has to be, everything has to be taught to a human being. That's why. Other species need not be taught. As soon as a little one is born, it knows where the milk is, it knows where the food is. It knows how to get its food straight away. The location is known. In the case of a human being, he will not know. Therefore, he needs to be taught. 
Sharia. Okay, Sri Vidya. Yeah. We will continue with the with the two yajnas uh, from the in the in the following classes: the limited and the absolute.